every programmer knows that the best invention is copy and paste. That is why I copied this copycat format from another channel. Today we are going to recreate this flamethrower effect from Zack Blake. The link to his original post is gonna be in the description. Let's go into our scene when I already made a moving player and some obstacles. As always, start by creating a flamethrower script. To add a basic raycast, we'll just copy and paste the raycast documentation from Unity because we are in the spirit on copy and pasting so yeah don't be like me and forget to add the script to the player and now we have a basic walking raycast in the spirit of the series I now copied some flame animation sprites from Google to the project change the texture mode to sprite and the sprite mode to multiple now we can split the sprites into multiple sprites to use later for basic flamethrower effect we will use a particle system if you want to create high-end flamethrower effect using VFX stick around at the end of the tutorial. To shoot the particles at a straight line, under shape, change the angle to 0. You can also change the radius and radius thickness to 0 too. Now enable the texture sheet animation and add the sprites to I it. didn't find any better ways except adding all the sprites manually to the texture sheet animation. If you know of any better solution, please put it in the comments and I'll pin your comment. This took me way too long, so please give me another option of how to do this with a script or anything else, just not manually. Now we go to size of a lifetime and make it constant with the value of 0.1. Just remember that the variables values can be different for your project. Now that we have the flamethrower finished, we can start working on making it dynamic. To do this, we want to calculate the lifetime to distance ratio. We will do this by moving the player around and getting the distance to the wall with the raycast we have. We obviously need to be in play mode for the raycast to work. Now change the lifetime variable until the particles hitting exactly the wall. Do this few times to get few measurements and from this we can get the lifetime to distance ratio. I moved the Rayka script from the player to the particle object because we are going to duplicate the flamethrower later. Now we can start going to the script and work on our formula. We are going to start by declaring and setting the particle system variable. Now whenever we hit an object change the start lifetime variable according to our ratio constant times the distance. Okay so it's working but it's still not good enough so we gotta fix some stuff. We will reset the particle system on hit and change the speed to make it catch up faster. And again, play with the speed variable until it looks good to you. Now that we have a basic flamethrower working, just duplicate it, move it with the angles, and now you have the full effect. One last fix before you move to the next video. Make sure to reset the flame size and the raycast exit. Now you can see it looks quite about right, and have fun. Go to Zach's Twitter page to see more stuff you can add to your flamethrower to make it a lot better and way more fun. To learn how to make a cooler flamethrower, click right here. And to continue with me to copy other stuff, click right here. And of course, if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. See you in the next video. Bye!